unity, cooperation, self-sacrifice, devotion. These may be regarded as exemplary qualities in all societies. Every human being would hope to live among individuals who possess these virtues. The film you are about to watch deals with just these examples of proper morality. Yet the heroes in it are not human beings at all. The Middle East. It is not easy to survive in this hot, barren land. These tiny creatures known as Arab birds manage, however, to survive in these difficult conditions. Because they display amazing solidarity and cooperation among themselves, they do everything together, even bathing. After washing comes sunbathing. As they dry their feathers, they clean each other. This is very important for their health. They look after one another, never getting tired or fed up. Work is divided between them. Finding food for their young, for instance, is a job they do communally. All the food they find is later shared out equally. The defense of the flock is also shared out equally. Every bird takes its turn to stand guard in a treetop. When the time comes for the changing of the guard, the new sentry brings a quantity of food to the bird he is to replace and then takes over. This duty is of vital importance to the group's safety. A Viper The sentry bird immediately sounds the alarm. The flock comes together for protection. The birds also try to disturb the snake and distract it. Young birds display their strength and courage by challenging the snake and try to earn respect within the flock. As the danger recedes, life returns to normal. A sentry assumes his post. The chicks begin to play amongst themselves. So how was it that these birds came to display such powerful cooperation? Let us think and continue to ask questions. The animals you are watching possess no consciousness. 
Why should an animal stand guard over its friends? One would expect it to fly off and look for something to eat. But what it actually does is a great sacrifice. It stands guard like a soldier, seriously and determinedly, eating nothing. Who taught these creatures about altruism? Who tells them to endanger their own lives for the sake of their friends? There can be no question that it is the Almighty God, the Creator, who instill these feelings of unity, cooperation and sacrifice into these tiny birds. As we are told in Surah 16 in the Quran, God inspires the requisite behavior in animals to keep them alive. Feelings of sacrifice and cooperation among birds are very powerful. The solidarity and mutual assistance displayed by fieldfarers are another miracle of creation. These birds live in flocks of 30 to 40 members. Unity and togetherness are always very powerful within the group. They raise their young together with the greatest care. The strongest example of solidarity within the group comes when there is a danger to the young. Here is that danger, a young raven. Its target is the chicks. One of the watchers sees the raven and warns the others. The group takes their stations and the defense force comes together. One of the birds squawks angrily and threatens the intruder. The threat is then translated into action. They attack the intruder en masse. Stunned by the counter-attack, the raven withdraws. But the fighters move in with all their might and bring the enemy down. The raven survives the attack with great difficulty. Communication, mutual assistance and unity have saved the lives of their chicks. One of the distinguishing characteristics of the elephant, the largest land mammal on earth, is its devotion to its fellows. Sacrifice and mutual assistance are not limited to family members, but can be seen within the entire herd. A hot summer day on the African plains. Elephants are constantly on the move to find food and water. This nearly dry lake is the only source of water around. Many other animals from wild oxen to buffalo share this water with them.
This baby elephant is finding it difficult to drink as his trunk is still very short. He has to bend down a long way to reach the water. One of the adult elephants bumps into it by accident, knocking it into the water. Unless the baby can escape at once, it will sink into the mud and die. There is no time to lose. The mother elephant kneels down and leans over the